Timo Shopify Drop Shipping. Sell Timo products on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be showing you guys how you could sell on Shopify using Timu as your source of product. Shopify will be our main store, while Timu will be the place where we will be getting the orders or we will be getting the products from. Now, if you don't or if you're not familiar with the term dropshipping, it is a very famous model back in the pandemic where you will be able to start your e-commerce platform or e-commerce store and sell lots of different types of items without having the need to have the inventory or the item or the product in your own inventory. The process will be handled by other platforms for you. And so that is what we will be trying to be replicating or we will be trying to do with our video today. Now Shopify is a great platform, an amazing e-commerce platform. In my opinion, it's an all-in-one where you could do basically every other or anything that other e-commerce platform can offer. And it is able to do this with all the apps that it has. Therefore, it will be able to integrate with lots of different platforms, even eBay, Amazon, all of those platforms using its apps. You could do some drop shippings with those other platforms as well. But surprisingly and unfortunately, there is none for Timu and Shopify. There is no app that would allow us to directly communicate and directly create a process of dropshipping between Shopify and Timu. Although if you search in the App Store Timu, you will be able to see here all sorts of apps over here. But there is no specific one except for Cartifine over here. Now that this Cartifine here is not Timu specific. Uh, this is something that you will be able to use for Amazon, AliExpress as well. Although, all this does is it's going to automate a process for you and make it easier. But, as you can see, it is something you're going to have to pay for a month. And so, we're just going to be showing you guys how to do the process that this specific app does automatically. But this time, it will be more on a manual version. So, to avoid having to pay for like $10 a month, we're going to show you how you will be doing it for free. So first things first, in Shopify, make sure that your online store is fully set up. Going in our team, so we here, you're going to have to select the specific team for your online store so that we can easily view the items later on. As you can see, we have our Shopify Dawn team over here. And we're going to be playing around with the products in this section. Now what we're going to do is go to Timo. In Timo, they have lots of different products. And first step is, of course, look for the product that you would like to sell. So, for example, this one over here. Uh, this is one looks really great. The letter G over here, charging light. This is the title over here. Now, what you're simply going to do is you're going to gather or get all the information available for you, such as the description, the image, the title, of course, the price as well. And you're going to simply add it in your Shopify store over here. So simply click on add product and we're going to copy the title. Also be careful because there is some quantity limits over here. Uh, you're going to have to make sure that the product that you're going to add in Shopify has enough stock. Although you could control the amount of stock anyway. So over here, put in the title. You have your description over here. Simply scroll down and look for the description part of your product that you have selected for example this one details you copy that and paste it over here and now for the media how do you get the media of this because there's little photos there's videos if you click on save image as uh usually what will typically appear is webb file and that's not what you want so you're going to have to search for image downloader there you go extension for your browser there we go image downloader and this will allow you to download any image on any platform just like this so uh, you will be able to have the option to download the image available on a website so after installing this you will be able to download the photos or sometimes even the videos available on the apps or the product being displayed over here and after that, uh, let's assume that you have added the media. You're going to add the pricing. Now, the pricing right now is this one over here, uh, 1792 Of course, as a reseller, you're going to have to increase a bit 
you could add a lot if you want for example we could settle with 2000 right away but you could also uh, not add too much but of course you're going to have to make sure that you have earnings as well there we go but uh, let's say you have that and now the quantity you can drop quantity and you can set the quantity over here let's assume the quantity available right now is five although this one you're going to have to continuously update you're going to have to check in with timu if they have the product available still so that's a bit of a manual labor and you have your product weight over here and then you could also add like the variants over here because there are some variants over here like abs black and abs white so you're going to have to get the option black over here and you also have the white option there we go although you're going to have to add the white option and black option in that media as well after that uh we can now simply click on save although uh, this one's a bit long so you're going to have to fix this one you're going to have to make it a bit shorter so let's just say uh wireless lighting for now here we go just for the sake of being able to upload it Click on save and we will be able to save this product onto our Shopify store just like that. And now if you view it on our online store, we will not be able to see it. Now the real challenge with this is keeping up with the quantity available. So make sure that if you're looking for products in Timu, find items that are not almost sold out so that there will no longer be or there will no issue. You will not encounter any issue with the quantity. So once someone ordered in your store, what you what are you going to do? Because of course you don't have the product to sell out or to give to them. So what you're going to do after getting the information that the user will typically provide you when they order on your product, such as your address, their name, stuff like that. After getting those information, you're going to go to Timu and you're going to buy it yourself. You're going to add to cart as a user. And you're going to enter the information of the customer that you have given or that you have been receiving in Shopify and enter it in Timu instead. So once someone or once Timu ship out their product, it's not going to be shipped to you as the one who bought it. It's now then going to be shipped to the person that has ordered from your Shopify store. So that's basically the process that we are telling you guys to do. Of course, a very manual process. Although if you analyze the app that you saw earlier, the Timu, dropshipping app that you're going to have to pay for it's the same process it's just a bit automated it's just easier but if you're not willing if you don't have the extra money to do that you're going to have to do the process that we have done because that is the limitation for not having any direct communication or any direct app yet that would allow us to do timu and shopify dropship so that's basically it now guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching